And the second story that I'm going to give you about just going out and doing it is I'm going to, I'm don't, please don't take me as egotistical by saying this, but I built the bus route. I'm supposed to get a laugh or a smile or anything like that. <laughs> So my first thing to tell you is that, first off, get involved when you go to a community college. That it is fun, that it is amazing, and you can do a lot of things. I can tell you that out of a lot of things that I've helped do at NOVA, that anything from co-founding student government to um, assisting in defining a culture to writing 40-page proposal, Phi Theta Kappa, like a lot of other things, I can tell you that one of the best things that I ever did was I built, I assisted in the planning for building a bus route. I didn't actually build the bus. I don't have any construction experience, so don't hold me to that. Disclaimer right there. And how I did it was, huh? How I did it wasn't because I had a name. At that time, it was my second year. I wasn't, the student government wasn't there. I had the ability to go to Richmond um, with five other students to go advocate um, for NOVA's policies, um, specifically for a STEM grant. And I remember we um, had the ability to go speak to, to um, senators down there. And Senator Herring was the um, senator who represented our district at that time. He still does, actually, what am I talking about? Um, not keeping up with stuff. And I remember uh, we had the ability to go up and say for about a minute or two what we wanted, to, um, what we wanted at NOVA. And I um, put my feet on a desk and I said, yo dog, your bus is suck in the county. I actually didn't say that. I probably would have been kicked out and never allowed him back on a trip like that. No, um, I ended up going up to him and said, you know what, I'm from New York City. And I can tell you that in my first semester, I used to walk four and a half miles to school because there wasn't a bus that ran between nine and four. And then I worked at a law firm between nine and 5.30 and I had to be back before they closed. And that the only way to get back to work at that time was to walk. I became very fit that semester, just to let you know, at six pack. <laughs> I can tell you what he said was, send me, your, send me your suggestions. So me being the overachiever that I am, he probably thought that I had no life after the email I sent to him. I wrote a 10 page <laughs> proposal. Um, no, no, but it's not what. It's literally, it probably was the worst document I've ever written. Um, you can see right over there, um, that is just a part of the page of all the grammar edits I had in there. And um, it's still, I, I looked back at it a week ago, and I still had a lot of grammar edits in there. I'm glad the senator took the suggestions. <laughs> I can tell you that how I built the map right there was on Microsoft Paint. That the schedules I put on there was built on Excel. Tools that we use every single day, I'm not sure how many people use Microsoft Paint on a regular basis, but we do use Excel, right? I can tell you that 10 days following that, that email that I sent him with that proposal, he sent it to the head of Loudoun County Transportation, Nancy Gurley. Within 10 months, that bus route would be a reality. How many of you guys have seen the, the smaller bus that rides, um, that goes right be, between the uh, Eldon Street Giant, where Pop Belly is? There's like a bus that goes from like Herndon Monroe to the town center. Okay, I got some people in the back. Okay, that bus route, was the same bus route that I wrote in that proposal. I can tell you that it was a horribly written thing. Please don't laugh at me for grammar edits. I'm still not the best writer. I have people editing my stuff all the time. But I can tell you that I built that not as someone with a name, not as someone that knows a lot of people, but as a student like you. And what I'm here to tell you is that if you have a suggestion or you want to do something in the community, to go out there and do it. Because what was the most that I could lose? That he probably laughed at my grammar edits, he probably laughed at the Microsoft Paint, and maybe he said no. But he didn't. He actually thought it was a great idea that for once a student was advocating something, and he sent that back into, um, he sent that to the head of Loudoun County Transportation. I can tell you that the day that I rode that, that, the first day that I rode that bus, I was so tempted to go up to the bus driver and say, yeah, I built that. <laughs> I didn't do that. I can tell you that on Friday, that temptation kind of like subsided, and then I actually uh, said that, yeah, I built this bus route, you know, <laughs> finally got there. And he's like, well, this was a great idea. He said that, do you realize that we've had more ridership on this bus in one week than we've had the, this week in the, on the Ashburn connector? 
that's been there for the last three years. And that is what I mean by going out and doing something. The going out and doing it. If you have an idea, run with it. Make it happen. The worst that can happen in most cases is that people say no. And there are other things I've said Senator Heron, and he has said no on. So I have like a one in three record, 33%, .3 if you want to be like for the mathematicians here. That's fine. I can tell you that that bus route would not be in existence if I didn't actually go out there and run with it. That I didn't go out there and write a proposal, even though I didn't have any idea how to write a business proposal. Even though I probably should have realized that drawing a map on Microsoft Paint wasn't the most professional way to convey that idea. But that's the whole point. You just have to go out there and make your idea happen. And that don't be afraid that someone may say no. Go out there and do it.